What's up bikers? I'm Johnny Thompson from fit for racing home of strength and conditioning for extreme off-road bike sports athletes and today we are talking about engine, how to build your engine with cardio, cardio, cardio! Good! One, two, three! Listen! So today, while we're talking about building your engine, we'll talk about the principles of energy systems. Now, I had a question the other day on Facebook. I'm running three miles a day. Is that gonna be good for me or bad for me? Well, my response is do not run three miles per day as your training. Even if you can only run, if there's nothing else to do but run, think about changing the energy systems. <laughs> These two energy systems are oxidative, so we'll go, we're gonna call that long, and glycolytic, we're gonna call that short. Now there's an immediate em energy system, we're gonna discount that for today, and we're gonna focus on the long and the short energy systems. The oxidative is fueled by oxygen through your muscles. The glycolytic is glycogen that's stored in your muscles. You don't need to know that. You just need to know that there's a long one and there's a short one and you need to train both to have an effective engine. First, understand which one you need to train to be a better biker because it's all about balancing these two so that you have capacity in each. Now, if you're gassing out at the end of a race, what I mean by gassing out is you're gasping for air and you can't get enough air in to fuel your muscles but you still have the strength, likely you need to work on the long, slower stuff. If, however, you're getting plenty of air in, but your muscles are fatiguing and you feel flat and you, you lose power, likely you'll need to work on the shorter energy system. So if you've identified you're stronger at one than the other, before you go out and start slamming to make up that deficit, consider this. If you've just started your off season, you don't need to go long and slow every single day and get your cardio fitness up. So if you have a deficit in that long range, don't start slamming it now. The priority is strength. And with that, by going hard on the shorter intense stuff, that will contribute to your strength gains and build overall capacity towards the end. Now that long, slow stuff, you can integrate into your training much closer to the season start. If you focus on that now, that will hinder your short capacity and strength ability. So don't go out slamming it now. That said, if you recover well and that movement and blood flow is good for you, spend 45 minutes twice a week doing a steady run, cycle, swim, hike, something like that to get you out and about and moving if it helps your recovery. short energy system. Simply keeping the intensity level high and the time short. So nice high heart rates with sprints um, on the bike, running, sleds, uh, weight bearing exercise circuits, and then plenty of rest intervals in between those efforts. What time domains should you train those in? Well, if we're going for the short interval stuff, it's anything from 20 seconds to two, three minutes. And so if you think about the higher power output and the less sustainable it is, the more it's gonna be working that short energy system. The longer and the more sustainable the power output, that's working the long energy system. So if you're breaking up your training week, how many times should you be training each? Well, at this stage in the season, when you're just starting your off season, the strength training is gonna be two, three, potentially four times a week. You could do this short, intense interval stuff 
on those same days in that same session. So that will contribute to your strength gains and vice versa. Separate the longer stuff for recovery days and try and keep it as far away from the strength elements. You wanna be doing a short, short day. So sprints of 15 to 30 seconds, multiples with rests in between. You wanna be doing a medium day. So you're having intervals of one minute to three minutes. And then you wanna be doing a more medium long day. And at this stage, that medium long interval day, you know, might not even exceed five minutes. So these energy systems do work together somewhat. So don't think that by training one or the other, you're completely excluding them. Your capacity by training anything is gonna raise both. So don't think that it's exclusively one energy system. Don't be put off by using heavy weights as training of energy systems. Even things like 20 rep max back squats are gonna tap into that glycolytic short-term energy system very well. I've heard people often say when they're doing high rep strength training like 20 rep back squats, oh my God, this feels like cardio. Well, it is and it's contributing to your ability. Things like burpees, wall balls, in between sprints, these are things that are gonna keep your heart rate super high and change the stimulus on your body so that you're not in muscular fatigue, which then in turn slows you down. So you can keep your heart rate super high whilst doing movements that contribute to your control of the bike and control of your body. A Concept2 rowing machine is absolutely ideal because it's so quantifiable on your power output and time domains that you can really easily show that you are performing better on it. I hope you enjoyed this video on energy systems. When you get into the gym next time or you're going out for a run, consider energy systems. Which one am I training today? Which stage in my off season or in season am I? And which one do I have a deficit in that needs work? And hopefully you can train more intelligently and get more out of your training so that then you get more out of your riding. And that's what we're here for. That's what I do is hopefully help riders get more from their bikes and so that then you guys can start winning races, performing better and enjoying yourselves more. If you do have any questions, Facebook messages, email us, don't call me, I'll never answer. Text message if you can find my number. There's some stalkers that have been sending me dick pics. You better stop doing that. Next time we're talking about recovery, that's gonna be super important, especially if you watch the strength and this video, which obviously you watch this video because you're watching me right now. <laughs> but if you watch the strength one and you're getting beaten up, the next video, definitely watch on recovery. Uh, so until next time, peace.